Hello everyone and welcome to a quick little video in which we're gonna remake Angry Birds in less than an hour. So yesterday a fellow indie game developer from Greece remade Angry Birds in Unity and he was kind enough to send me his model so I can do the same thing in Unreal Engine. This is his channel, he's got some awesome videos, go check him out. And without wasting any time, let's start with the remake. Okay, here we are in the Epic Games launcher and we're going to fire up Unreal Engine 4. I'm not using 5 because I want to avoid Lumen, the new lighting system in UE5. That's because Lumen doesn't do well with non-nanite geometry and would have serious performance issues. I'll make a new blank blueprint project and name it Angry Birds 3D. The first thing I'm gonna do is to import the models Yakos made and I'll turn Auto Compute Normals off to maintain the low poly look of the models. Then I'll make my character blueprint and add the red bird as its mesh. I will adjust the size of the capsule and reposition the bird. The next thing is to create the inputs. I will use the same inputs as Ilyakos, WSAD and up and down arrows. Then I will implement a function to move the bird left and right when I press A and D respectively. I want to test it so I will change the default possessed pawn to be my character blueprint. As it seems I forgot to add the camera, so I will attach a spring arm into the mesh of my character and add the camera to the end of it. Alright, the right and left movement looks fine, so I will do the same for the other directions as well. I was unable to move up and down and that's because I had the gravity enabled, so I set the movement mode to flying and turned off the gravity. Now that I've finished with the movement, I will open up the slingshot skeletal mesh and add three sockets to make some calculations. Then I will make a blueprint with it to be able to detect it from my character's one. I will scan for a slingshot BP and promote it to a variable. Then I created a timer that fires off 100 times a second and draw a debug line from the bird to the sockets I created in the slingshot skeleton to simulate the ropes. They look fine for now, I might tweak them later. It's time to make the logic for the launch input. The first thing to do is to disable the ropes so I will pause their event timer. Then I will make some calculations based on the position and distance of the bird to the middle of the slingshot and apply the proper force to the bird. It's going much higher than it should. And that's because I had some mistakes to my calculations. I created some debug lines that helped me find what I was doing wrong and I fixed it. Then I went to find a model for the wooden beams the pigs are laying on. I found a cool model and I imported it into UE4 but it was very, very big. So I made it smaller and made the material with the textures I downloaded. I made a blueprint that will handle the collision events for the beams. I added a box collision and when the birds collide with it, it destroys it and the other beams touching it will simulate physics. I wanted to use a particle system that I made for my game Paramythic, but after trying for a very long time I wasn't unable to import it to UE4 because I made it on UE5. While I was trying to find a solution, I added a trigger box that lurps the camera of the bird to a fixed position to look at the pigs when I add them of course. I added a few beams in the scene to test them out. and they worked perfectly fine. But I had lost all hopes for my particle system, and while I was ready to give up, I decided to make the project in UE5. It took me some more time, and of course I passed the one hour limit. By using some assets from the marketplace and some that I made for Paramythic, I created a very simple level to play. So this is the final result.
So this is how I remade the remake of Angry Birds in 3D. Thanks again to Lyakos for the inspiration and the models. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and hit the bell to be notified for a new video when it releases. See ya!